Since we made our last money making video, it was pretty clear you guys all wanted that second video about making your first 50 million coins, so you could then go on to follow the kind of things we showed in that video. Most of these methods can't be done on a literal brand new profile, so we're going to use the profile that we made all the way back in our beginner's guide. So if you want to know how to go from a brand new profile to the point I'm at now when making this video, go check out our beginner guide video. Anyway, once you've gotten to that point and realized that your damage was basically halved by the strength nerf, you're all set to do almost everything in this video. Although some of the methods are a bit more advanced and do require some preparation, which we'll get to later. For the sake of comparing the effectiveness of these methods to the kind of thing we showed in the beginner's guide, we're gonna start with the gravel mining method that I heavily suggested in that video. This method is great because you can do it within an hour of creating a new profile and each piece of gravel you mine is worth 20 coins. Like all methods in this video, I tried this for an hour and earned 316,000 coins per hour, which isn't that good, but if you're a new player, that's really really good. I did find something interesting whilst doing this though. A sponsored segment. Tradery is an established player trading platform for games like Pokemon, Animal Crossing and of course, Hypixel Skyblock. Since our last video, the site has undergone many improvements, such as being able to put up items for coins, choosing levels and rarities for pets, and tiers for minions. The site is especially good for trading items that can't be put on the auction house for a good price, like uncommon rarity items and accessories, farming hoes and minions, and is even better now that farming items can be traded through normal trade menus without needing to do the risky drop trades. There will be a link in the description and also a pinned comment so you can check Tradery out and maybe sell all your old unwanted minions or farming hoes to someone else who needs them. Wait, what do you mean you didn't know that you could trade those items now? Did you not read the one small line on the patch notes that was later edited in? Okay, back on track to actual methods that you can do now. Let's talk about events. Events are by far the best way to make money in the early to mid game because anyone can do them and they're usually free to participate in, although they happen only at limited times, so you can't really rely on them. The first of these events I tried was the mythological ritual event that happens whenever Diana is mayor. And for this, I simply spent 40,000 coins on a common griffin pet and the ancestral spade. This may seem like a waste of time, but griffin feathers are an almost guaranteed drop at the end of any borrow chain, and the chances of getting one are exactly the same no matter what rarity of pet you use. This is important, because just one of these feathers is 45,000 coins, which is more than we spent on the pet and shovel combined. The question is, how many of these feathers can you get in an hour? I bought myself a grappling hook and a god potion to move around faster, and using a mod that reveals borrows locations to me, I went around digging these up for an hour. At the end of my hour, I had dug up a bunch of borrows and had 36 griffin feathers as well as around 100k coins from random borrows and enemy drops, which took me to a total of 1.65 million coins for a whole hour, which is really good for a method that was basically as good as free to start. However, this event isn't very common, and Diana is only ever really mayor once a month or so. So let's look to more seasonal events, like the season of Jerry. This event is good, because it doesn't really matter how well you do, you get basically the same reward no matter what. However, because I am really good at video games, I got first place every single time on a brand new profile. This whole event takes between 45 minutes to an hour, depending on when your lobby decides to start the event. And from an hour of defending Jerry's villages from the world's least threatening magma cubes, I had amassed just under 1 million coins. This event comes around every 5 real life days, and you can check your in-game calendar to see whenever it's starting. Another seasonal event is the Spooky Festival, which also happens every 5 real life days. In this event, you spend your daytime killing high level mobs like crypt ghouls or spiders, and you spend your nights killing spooky scary creatures that spawn in the graveyard or forest, all in pursuit of candy. These creatures don't do that much damage, but they do enough that newer players should be cautious around them, and they also don't have health and just require a set amount of hits to kill, which makes this a beginner friendly method. 
On my new account, I had absolutely no items that could upgrade my candy yield, and I didn't even have a bow to chase after the Megabat Piñata, so this test was the absolute bare minimum I could do. I actually joined the event a bit late and only managed to do it for half an hour, but doubling my total should be roughly accurate. In an hour of this event, I could earn 1.1 million coins per hour, which is a little better than Jerry, although this event has a lot of room for improvement. If you wanted to invest some of your coins, you could buy Bat Person or Spooky Armor to gain so much more candy, as well as a Bat Pet and accessories that don't cost that much, and gaining more candy will put you up on the leaderboard, which means you can just straight up earn more coins and sellable items from this event, and it scales exponentially. Events aren't going to make you money all the time though. The very nature of them being rare events is what makes them so profitable, although you should look out for mayors like Foxy who cause extra events to happen, and Cole's mining fiesta is also very profitable. For something a bit more consistent than events, look towards zealot grinding. This is probably the oldest money making method known to mankind, and it was the subject of our first ever video almost a year and a half ago. But the crazy thing is that it still works, actually even better than before. The price of summoning eyes is so much higher than it used to be, and the new Ender Slayer means lobbies tend to be full of people killing higher level Endermen, and the Dragon's Nest tends to be a lot emptier with more zealots to kill than before. Unfortunately, this trend nerf means I can't kill zealots in one shot on this profile, so this is gonna require some extra grinding and better items to be able to do this. I recommend getting to combat 18 and using an aspect of the dragons and drinking a god potion, which should easily give you the damage you need. The usual strategy applies, running around and killing zealots, and then if a dragon happens to spawn, kill the dragon for some extra bonus loot. In my hour of grinding, I was able to kill an impressive 1364 zealots within that hour, but because this is a luck based strategy, I have to average this out. A special zealot is a 1 in 420 chance, which means on average, I would have gotten 3.25 eyes an hour, or 2.5 million coins. However, from my extra drops like enchanted obsidian and crystal fragments, that number increased to 2.7 million an hour, which puts this right at the top of the list, assuming you're capable of doing it. This next method has a bit of a backstory. My original plan was to get Heart of the Mountain 3, buy a ruby drill, and then mine gemstones for NPC price. However, it turns out this absolutely sucked. In the process of trying this out, I discovered that sludge juice is worth way more than it deserves to, so I wondered if farming sludges for coins was at all viable. I bought a jungle pickaxe to try and spawn more sludges, but Hypixel happened. So plan B was just running around the jungle looking for sludges. It seems like they have some set spawning positions within structures, so I spent my time running between structures to despawn and respawn sludges and killing the babies for their juice. I also had to swap lobbies a few times, which wasted quite a bit of my time, but overall, I did this for an hour, and ended up with literally 3.17 million coins worth of sludge juice. This stuff is really expensive, probably because of my last video where I told everyone to do a recipe that requires 500 of them. Although the main issue with this method is that now I've told everyone about it, it's probably not gonna work as well. The last thing I'm gonna mention on this list has been mentioned in every single money making guide ever, and that's bizarre flipping. You don't actually need that much money to start doing this passively. You can do it with really any money you have, as long as you don't need immediate access to it. For my beginner profile, I did this by looking through the bazaar for items that were being sold for below their NPC sell price. And you see this a lot in the combat section and the mining section. Then, I go to make a buy offer for some price that's at least 0.5 or more coins below the NPC sell value of that item, and make a buy order for a huge amount of them. This is easier if you have the recipe for an enchanted form of the item, and for this instance, I am doing it with gemstones, then leave the buy offer and do something else. That's literally it. When you come back, it eventually fills, take out everything, craft it into its enchanted form, and then sell it to NPCs. I can give an hourly total of this as it depends on what kind of opportunities you find and take advantage of and to what extent. But this is ultimately passive income that you can have on the side of what you normally do, 
and if you're capable of doing it, there's no reason not to. There really ultimately isn't that many ways to get coins so easily in the early game, so your goal should be doing one of these until you can afford to do one of the methods from our other video, which you can watch from the end card right here on the right, or the link in the description. Thanks for watching, see ya, have a nice day.